an assassin shot Bruce Banner in the brain, nearly killing him. Fortunately, Tony Stark rushed Banner to his medical room and summoned a renowned neurosurgeon to perform emergency brain surgery. Utilizing Tony Stark's advanced extremist technology, the neurosurgeon successfully operated on Bruce. The extremist rapidly repaired his brain damage, and within minutes he regained consciousness. Tony Stark asked Banner how he was feeling, and Bruce replied that he felt great. However, Tony was unaware of the unforeseen side effects of his extremist technology. Not only did it heal Bruce's brain, but it also augmented his intellect, making the Hulk the smartest creature on Earth. After transforming into the Hulk, Bruce exhibited unusual behavior. He traveled to the United Republic of Valinon and systematically destroyed their gamma-powered nuclear arsenal annihilating all weapons reliant on gamma radiation. After a few weeks, Dr. Green returned to his laboratory. Luke and Stern, one of his staff members, approached him and asked, Hulk, nobody has seen you in weeks. Where have you been? Dr. Green replied firmly, Don't call me Hulk, Lucian Stern. I never want to hear that name again. My captors gave it to me. Please address me as Dr. Green. To answer Lucan Stern's question, Dr. Green explained, I've been away, contemplating a plan to benefit humanity. I've found a solution to help the world, and once my special project is completed, the world will be a better place. With determination, Dr. Green took a knife, made a small incision in his arm, and collected his blood in a beaker. Once full, he handed it to a scientist, instructing, develop a serum to cure gamma-induced transformations. Turning to another scientist, he directed, design nanotechnology capable of withstanding my gamma-irradiated bloodstream's rigors. The scientist questioned its feasibility, but Dr. Green assured him, it's possible. I'll provide the necessary materials to create these tiny machines. After discussing details with his team, Dr. Green launched a satellite designed to detect atmospheric gamma rays. After creating the serums, scientists realized they wouldn't work on the Hulk himself. They considered the possibility of a mistake, but deemed it highly unlikely. Dr. Green intended the serums for individuals who gained powers from gamma radiation exposure, not himself. A scientist approached the Hulk, inquiring, where do you plan to obtain adamantium? She deduced that adamantium was necessary to produce nanites, as it's the only substance resilient enough to survive in the Hulk's bloodstream. The Hulk confirmed her hypothesis and invited her to follow him. Opening a portal, they traveled to a mysterious location. His assistant asked, Where are we? The Hulk replied, The more pertinent question is, When are we? Revealing their destination, he said, This is the end of time. Only Kang exists here, and we're inside his trophy room. His assistant noticed Ultron and exclaimed, Is that? Tell me that's not the killer robot Ultron, the world's most dangerous artificial intelligence. The Hulk confirmed, Indeed, it's Ultron. Ripping off one of Ultron's arms, the Hulk said, Let's see how long it takes Kang to notice I've borrowed some adamantium. He then opened a portal, prompting his assistant to ask, when did you create a stable tachyon portal? The Hulk replied, What day is today? And returned to their lab. He began explaining how to create nanites using Ultron's adamantium arm, but his complex instructions soon bewildered his assistant, nearly inducing sleep. Noticing her fatigue, the Hulk said, I didn't realize I was boring you. His assistant asked, Dr. Green, don't you ever fall asleep? He replied, not anymore, there's too much science to attend to. One week after creating the nanotechnology, the Hulk utilized his satellite to track individuals with gamma powers, pinpointing the location of one. It was Rick, the abomination, using his transformation to extinguish fires. The Hulk teleported to Rick's location, finding him half naked. Holding a massive injection filled with blue serum, the Hulk began conversing with Rick. Rick remarked, Hulk, 
I've heard extremist technology made you super intelligent. The Hulk replied, address me as Dr. Green, not Hulk. He continued, I've given considerable thought to gamma-powered entities and concluded they must be eliminated. Rick asked anxiously, does that include me? The Hulk persisted, attempting to convince Rick that his powers were unnecessary, urging him to accept the serum. Enraged, Rick transformed into the abomination and delivered a crushing punch, sending the Hulk flying. The impact shattered the needle holding the serum. The Hulk swiftly regained his footing and exclaimed, Damn it, Rick! You were supposed to be the easy one! Sneering, he added, I guess it's time to smash! The Hulk and Abomination charged at each other, exchanging blows. The Hulk complained, You broke my nose! Abomination retorted, I'm not like you, Hulk. I use my powers to help people. After trading several punches, the Hulk kicked Abomination into the air. He then manually reset his broken nose and conjured a blue energy sphere from his fingertips. Using this energy, he communicated with his assistants, requesting another blue serum-filled needle. As he spoke, Abomination charged, punching the Hulk in the face and sending him crashing into a nearby water tank. The battle intensified. They ripped apart the metal framework of the water tank stand, wielding the shards as weapons. The Hulk attempted to persuade Abomination to accept the serum, but his efforts were futile. Undeterred, the Hulk headbutted Abomination and restrained him by wrapping the metal fragments around his body. The Hulk spotted the incoming missile carrying the blue needle he requested. He swiftly leaped into the air, caught it, and ripped the missile apart to retrieve the needle. Upon landing, he saw that the Abomination had broken free from his restraints. Their battle resumed, but this time, the Hulk successfully injected the Abomination with a serum-filled needle. As the serum entered the Abomination's bloodstream, it rapidly neutralized his powers, forcing him to transform back into Rick Jones, his human form.